we should be coming on. Let's check this out. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is March 26, 2020, and we're doing a cooking live stream. We're calling it a pandemic cooking live stream because a huge chunk of the world is in lockdown right now. So um, I figured it was a good, uh, good opportunity to show you guys how I end up making some uh, chicken broth as well as uh, perhaps some food that we can put away in the freezer and stuff and have it over an extended period of time uh, if we're not up for cooking hello hello spider-man how are you doing hope you're doing well um as far as what we're going to be making today uh let me give you the rundown uh holden who's how are you doing welcome welcome actually let me pop out the chat here first pop out the chat that way i can uh, follow the conversation without uh, reloading something and losing a lot of a lot of the chat and uh, hey Chicho I'm doing some quarantine cooking right now awesome making the homemade pizza nice nice uh, Felix Nicholas how are you doing how is life hello brother glad I could make it right on iron iron smash iron mountain mount smash welcome welcome what's up chicho cron how's life by the way nicholas uh reading of uh spy hunters spy fighters number nine up tomorrow it's already queued up okay uh hey chicho i'm going to be working uh while listening to unfortunately i won't be able to chat or mod much just to let you know i will be lurking though so, awesome spider-man thank you very much for giving me a heads up saucy rossi how are you doing editing a video here to chill for a bit nice nice um was in the middle of a comic book haul already nice ah the the thing we did yesterday figured live is better hope all is well doing well doing well thank you money how are you doing what's going on awesome thank you bro been looking forward to it yeah dude it was a fantastic read heavy read heavy read you'll enjoy it i think you will enjoy it case man how are you doing lazy panda hello hello a lot of people popping in right now uh, <laughs> I guess I guess there's a uh, there's a lot of uh, viewing to be done right nobody's uh, out and about uh, so let me give you the lowdown of what we're doing here let me give you an intro to people who are watching this who aren't uh, live Hannah how are you doing Irishman owl Irishman welcome welcome um, for those of you who want to keep up with uh, what it is that I am doing here in our project and whatnot we do have a presence on uh, patreon okay and if you want to support this work and it's very layered um, you should just hang around here for a while and check out our patreon page there's a mathematical theme behind everything and if you like what I'm creating here what we're doing here patreon is a fantastic way to support this project okay right now we're live streaming this on twitch so if you want to follow the live streams as we're streaming live twitch is where you want to be at um, i do have a twitter page as well as gab mines vk and elo so i do announce things the live stream specifically 30 minutes before we go live and you can check out our schedule on patreon as well as twitch you can see a countdown going by as well as discord that is linked up to twitch so there's a few different platforms that i'm active on and this video is going to be loaded on bitchute and youtube for now and most likely uh we'll probably load this on other platforms in the future as we decentralize ourselves right martin how are you doing hope you're doing well cheryl how are you doing bonus to working from home finally able to catch another live stream awesome glad to have you glad to have you and uh, just doing a public service announcement i think it's pretty important uh, we are in the middle of the pandemic and physical distancing is a good idea because we want to flatten the curve so if you're able to if you have the ability and you're safe and whatnot it's best to just interact socially online and keep the little bit of physical distance to give our healthcare workers the break they need 
for what is happening in the world right now right so if you have the ability if you have the means and uh, you are concerned uh, doing a little physical distancing I don't want to say social distancing anymore because what we're doing right now is social right we're live streaming you're in my kitchen I'm gonna show you a serious cookout right this is a very social event that we're holding here right so it's more physical distancing just for a little bit of time until the storm blows over okay I'm gonna let uh, take these things down okay YouTube Twitter twitch and again patreon is a fantastic way to support this project if you're up for it okay and if you have the means aside from that i'm gonna try to catch up with the chat show you guys what we've got going okay but one thing i want to do before uh, i get into all discussions and whatnot i want to start off the broth that we're going to be making and we're going to cook it for like 24 hours or something so might as well get that going and then what we're going to do i'm going to show you the two different angles by the way here's the angles that we're going to use right we have we're going to do a lot of chopping and cooking on the on the stove top here okay so we're going to do a lot of prep work right now and uh we're gonna boop on this camera here we're gonna throw our chicken broth in here okay chicken bones right and we're gonna cook it for about 24 hours so I've already put the water in here I put about half water here right now once I put the chicken bones in I'm gonna to top up the water to the top right but you have to be careful with this because once you start boiling the thing it uh, it might foam over right so you we got to keep a really close eye on it for the first hour because we're gonna scrape off the gook that forms on top as well okay so that's one thing we're gonna do we're gonna make some chicken broth okay we're gonna I got four pounds of ground beef here so we're gonna make uh, hamburgers okay I'm gonna show you the our uh, our family recipe okay this is a top secret recipe uh, you will love it you will love it okay it's very very delicious and it's basically you know we can call it hamburger if you want but we call it uh, in Armenian we say gotlet okay and in Farsi I think you say gotlet as well I'm not actually sure which which language I mix them all up right but it's basically the same recipe we use for our shish kebabs as well our beef kebabs the ground beef kebabs so hamburger gotlet shish kebab whatever you want to call it okay and uh, I have some cabbage and onions here and I have my rice that's been soaking since this morning because you do need to rinse the rice right so you rinse it enough to get rid of the sort of a dirtiness as much as you can so I go through about five different iterations of pouring water into this and moving it around and getting the dirt to come up and then draining it and then do again huh? and every time you do it gets a little bit clearer right and we're gonna do one more time when we're ready for it and we're gonna start cooking it up right now let me bring the chicken here because I'm gonna load these guys up um, apologies about not reading the chat right now um, there's a fair bit of chat going on so uh, unfortunately what I'm gonna do initially right now is get some stuff going and then we can once we start chopping things up welcome everyone to the live streams thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the conversations okay so chicken bones right and there is meat on these as well a little bit of meat on these and there's fat on these as well so once you make the chicken broth you can let it cool and then scrape off the fat if you want to right now what I'm gonna do with chicken you need to be fairly clean right so I'm gonna move things over a little bit I'm gonna take the chickens out okay and I'm gonna put the bags in this doohickey okay I'm gonna take the chickens out there because I'm gonna rinse them and then I'm gonna put them in the bag again in the in the bowl here again and then bring them over and transfer them here okay i try to be fairly clean with chicken you don't want to mess around with that especially in times of pandemics like this right so and 
and then I put the bags in this and I put it in the freezer and because our garbage comes every two weeks so we wait until two weeks and then put it out you don't want it to stink up in the garbage outside or inside touching the chicken, wash your hands, right? Third. Okay, cool. We're all set there. <laughs> Streams, coolly, all you doing? This year is going to make me hungry for dinner while I finish the last 30 minutes of work from home awesome i hope you got good food to eat coolio okay so take a look at this this is three chicken carcasses right and there you can buy chicken bones chicken carcasses at an amazing price if you find a good butcher okay i'm gonna kick up the temperature on this to high right because we want to initially get it boiling right but basically each one of these costs around uh, three and a half dollars right yeah about um, about three dollars each three anywhere between 250 to three dollars each and the meat on here I actually end up eating as well okay um, let me grab one of these guys because I wash my hands I don't want to touch the chicken again right so just transfer it in here And it was frozen, right? We buy it frozen. Uh, sometimes we can get it fresh, but these guys were frozen, so I took these out in the morning uh, just for it to thaw a little bit, right? So I can give them a rinse. Because you do want to give it a rinse, right? Hey, come here, you. Okay. Now, these guys, chicken. We don't touch this again. put it we put it on the side we take care of it later now I'm gonna put the lid on here for now okay. I'm gonna close the lid however I'm gonna put a timer on here okay because this thing when it starts boiling when it starts foaming it can overrun really quick so I'm gonna put a little timer on here I'm gonna put um, eight minutes for now the clock's gonna keep on click ticking away so I can keep an eye on it Okay, thank you very much for the Twitch uh, Prime sub, Coolio. Twitch Prime sub, recharge, nice. Figured I'd use it on on the channel. I've been following the, the most last few months. Nice, thanks, Coolio. Caseman, just got the kids virtual instruction schedule. Two hours of class, first thing in the morning, four days a week, that's it. And Caseman, that should be enough to, <laughs> your, your kids probably learn at an accelerated rate compared to, what they would learn in uh, at school for six to seven hours a day right yikes that's abysmal the education system needs to learn how to die i hope case man you're going to be feeding them info right in two hours you could 
make them heads be very very full of information spot of tea how are you doing huckleberry uh i'm in high school up in uh, ohio and they haven't even uh put online classes together oh you know what Do you, if you know which textbooks you're using start using the textbooks if the textbooks are crap start looking online to find information where you can educate yourself period right you should be active in it Hayati. <laughs> fun think how are you doing finally working from home tomorrow awesome let me show you the rest of the stuff we got okay we got some onions right now we gotta chop off I got three large onions I gotta chop okay because we're gonna use use the onions in the let's call them hamburgers or should we call them chicho burgers because they're not they're hamburgers but they're other things as well right so let's chop up the onions for now because as soon as we get the onions out of the way we can uh, do a couple of more things okay I want to let the chat take over and do their thing oh look at this this onion is a little bad right so you take off the first little layer on it right and I could see it wasn't there was going to be a little problem with this right? because it was a soft in one corner right? which happens we did a little prep work uh, for what was coming uh, in regards to the pandemic early on so we're just really going through some of the older food that we bought that way you know we have food to last us a while okay nice that's good so let's put these guys here for now let's cut this one up too that's good cool let's put this guy here let's do the third one as well okay out for 10 minutes what are we cooking um, we're gonna make chicken broth because what we're gonna do I'm putting I put three carcasses in here I'll show it to you after I finish this um, we put three chicken carcasses in this pot over here and we're gonna cook it up for at least at least 24 hours most likely uh, we're gonna drink some of it and what we're also gonna do is freeze some of it and this is this is one thing I highly recommend uh, because it's a health health issue going around in the world right now you want to make sure that if you're not feeling good you still have food to eat right so here's the chicken carcasses right and I'm going to top it up with more water actually let me do that right now so you want to make sure you have enough food to eat just in case you're not feeling up to it up to cooking right so what we're going to do is cook up some uh, chicken broth okay and we're going to drink some of it probably about half of it in the next couple of days two or three days and we're going to freeze about two days uh, and if you're not feeling good you just you can a bowl is good enough for you and there's two of us here so we're going to prep about uh, two days worth of broth and as you know if you've been on these i gotta 
put the bag of the chicken. Um, if you've been on these cooking streams before, you'll know we've made some uh, apple sauce and jams and stuff. So we have a fair bit of preserves put away aside from the broth that we can eat it just in case if we're not feeling good right it's good to have a little bit of food on the side okay be prepared right i touched the bag of chickens even though it was the bag that was holding the chicken stuff uh, I wash my hands again. Uh, we're also going to make some hamburgers. I got four pounds of ground beef here. Okay. And we're going to make a rice dish. Right now, what I need to do is just chop up the onions. Okay. If there's any chat that is going to be directed towards me, highlight it for me. That way, when I'm looking away, if stuff is flying by, um, I can check it. And if I don't catch it, uh, please post it again. Okay. This should be enough to hold our onions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glasses off because you get a little dizzy working with glasses. I had a friend of mine that was a cook. He was like, I can't believe you, you chop things like this. You go both ways, right? So I go, I go like this and squish it in a little bit from both sides that way the onions don't fly everywhere so I can chop it up easier right and then I go ch -ch -ch, right perpendicular to the cuts the original cuts right? no that's our eight minutes let's check this that's good I'm gonna do it for another five minutes and then I'm gonna give the lid a little bit of space okay so it doesn't oh, check this out. Here. sometimes when you're cut, cutting onions you'll see a little bit of discoloration on some of the layers or one of the layers if it's a little bit older you can just get rid of that right so keep your eyes on that and this is good onions my eyes are already watering a little bit Now, there's two different styles of chopping up onions I'm going to do. This stuff I'm going to be frying up, right? So the fried onions, I don't need to cut very small. The onions I'm going to mix with the ground beef, I have to cut up smaller. Okay. So I'm going to put these guys in this. Actually, I don't need... Ooh, hot, hot. Mm, yeah, that's good. Here, I'll show it to you. Take a look. That's still going okay. Transfer these guys here. Your cutting board uh, looks like the same size and style of wood of mine. Cool. Is that bamboo? Is it bamboo? I think the top one is bamboo. I'm not. You know what? I'm not sure. We've got a few different cutting boards here. Um, and there's this is our main one. The top one we have here is our main one. It's where I do most of the. Uh, like the onions we cut on this, the garlic we cut on this. The garlic and onions I don't cut on the other wooden boards, okay. Uh, but on this one we cut up the onions and the garlic. And it's like 80% of the cutting we do on this board. And then we have smaller ones, bigger ones. There's another one on the, on the bottom of this which is a bigger one. And I do some um, veggie cuttings on the bigger one because there's more room, right? And we could actually throw these in the little blender we have, the onions, to make them smaller. But I'll see what I can do with chopping them manually. 
Okay. I only need one big one, uh, one big onion, large, about this size for four pounds of the, the hamburgers we're going to make. So the rest of this onion we're going to chop up. Okay. Traswell, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Actually, I'm going to chop up this one small. And we got to get rid of our hat. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in the kitchen. So let's do this. those guys here and these ones we're just going to chop up regular and throw it in uh, bigger chopped up stuff much mm. ah, should be good. it's always good to have a little bit of fried onions with you always be making how are you doing when's the last time that uh, knife was sharpened you know what I should be sharpening it a little bit more uh, because one of the most dangerous things in the kitchen is a dull knife right okay I'm gonna lift this sucker up Okay, take a look at this. You're getting a little bit of foam on here. So what I'm gonna do, doop, doop, got a little stick. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space on this, right? So you, I jam the piece of wood here so it's still breathing, so there's less chance of it foaming all the way up. Most dangerous thing. Why is that? Because um, when you're cutting things, if it's not sharp, it'll slip and it'll cut you right however you need to make the knife as sharp as you can handle it if it's too sharp if you're used to you know cutting things like this like going like this which i don't recommend with a sharp knife at all right you'll cut yourself very easily right so you have to adjust according to uh, what you can handle okay or what you're used to The other dangerous thing is when you're boiling stuff, hot stuff, you have the pan handle sticking out of the on top of the stove top, right? Not the best thing to do. Okay, I'm going to transfer these into another bowl because these are the fine stuff that we're going to mix with the hamburger right but i'm going to keep an eye on this okay take a look at this yes Make a so with this what we're going to do is okay i got a bowl here with sieve right so what we do is scrape off this foamy stuff up top and pour it in here because you want to get rid of the gook. Okay. But then there's a little bit of soup that comes in the bottom and then afterwards you can just pour the water back into the, into the pot. chicken is I'm just gonna move the chicken so it's not sitting in the bottom and burning right and this is what's required when you're making broth you got to get rid of this gook
And we can put the lid back on. There it is. With the stick. All right. Give it a little bit of space. And we need a bowl for these guys. Let's use this. Let's use this. So that was about a quarter of a large onion that we just chopped up really small, right? Or medium, we didn't chop it up fine. Right? You could always throw these things in like a blender, like a Quiznot or something, go break it down, but I'm okay. Little bits of onion is delicious, right? Now for this one, because I wanted to cut it fine, I'm gonna make the cuts here thinner. Okay, here, let me show it to you. I'm gonna make the cuts here thinner. Okay. Whoa, camera moving. I'll move a little bit further away from the camera. Now that it's cut up thinner, I can just go cut it like this, right? Finer, which is good enough for what I'm using. Right? Here it boiling, so gotta take care of this. Take a look. All right. That's right now with this guy. We were able to we have a lucky enough to have a you know about three different butchers around our area. We were picking up these chicken carcasses for about 450 for two of them for a number of years but in the last few months they doubled the price on them so instead of like 450 for two chicken carcasses now it's costing us 850 for two chicken carcasses so i hit up one of the other butchers that we have that uh, you can get stuff for a pretty good deal Pretty good price. Okay. Let me check this. Make sure we're all good. Yeah, we're all good. Awesome. Let's chop these guys up. Yeah, let's just let this guy boil a little bit. Trying to keep a close eye on the chicken broth, make sure it's not going to go crazy too much. Okay, now I'm going to kick this down a little bit. Okay, we got it to a nice boil, and these stove tops there, they burn hot. Okay, they're like the temperature when you put it on a high is crazy hot. So we're going to kick it down a notch, and as soon as it simmers down a little bit, I'm going to scrape off a little bit more gook. Okay. over 
So we got a little bowl, this much so far. Is that enough? No, we need the other half as well. Crazy bro, how are you doing? This other one we can chop up thicker and throw it in the other onion bowl. Onions makes you cry. I know <laughs> my eyes are really watery right now. <laughs> good onions. This is gonna be good hamburgers. If the Quiznar blender thing wasn't so loud, I would have probably thrown it in there and crunched it up, right? So take a look at this. This chicken broth right now, we boil a little bit, and it, depending on where you get your chicken, sometimes you get dirty, sometimes it's clean. This chicken is clean, right? There isn't too much gook on top of it, right? Which is fantastic. This is exactly what you want. Uh, I kicked up the temperature a little bit more. Nice, nice chicken, really. Right. Yeah. I'm just gonna pour the broth back in. Put this guy here. Yeah, very good, very good. So, I'm gonna put the lid back on it, still with the gap, okay. With the wooden piece in there. And I'm going to kick the temperature down to about five. Okay, I'm going to put the timer on here just for us to take a look at it again in about seven minutes. And I can hear it as well, right? When you hear it, if it goes too much, uh, you got to get to it ASAP. Drop everything and get to it. Otherwise, it's just going to go blow over and you got to clean the stuff up, right? Pretty good. Let it boil. There's a little bit of onion left, so we're just gonna cut this out. Cool. So three large onions we're working with, right? Here's this ball. There. This is the this is the onions that we're gonna fry up for the rice dish. I'm gonna keep some of the fried onions. This is the onions we're gonna mix into the hamburger, right? They're different, thinner, right? So you want it to be smaller when you're mixing the hamburger. Some onions. No. 
what we need to do now is we're going to put potatoes into the hamburger. Okay. And with the gap, you can look inside just to make sure it's not going to broil over, right? Let's check this out. Nice. There's a little bit more gook. I'm going to take it off. See that? Right. Okay. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Right. This is what we're removing. Okay. Fairly clean, it's not bad. I'm gonna grade some potatoes, okay? Because we're gonna put some potatoes in there. Usually with four pounds, so with four pounds, the recipe is uh, basically one large onion. So we got a, about a, you know, one large onion, a little bit more maybe, right? Why not? Right? What I wanna do is, it really doesn't matter what type of potatoes you use. I got both the red ones and these ones, right? These ones cook faster, so I'm just gonna use these ones for now. Uh, these ones are good as well. Okay. So let's grate these guys up. I'm just gonna cut off, cut off some of the smaller bits that might have some dirt in them and stuff, right? Not a big deal if you don't, but well, why not? Why not? All right. Just cut off some of these guys. Not a big deal. Let's do this one too. I've already washed these potatoes, by the way. Okay. So the little holes here, you can't really get in there. Too much anyway, I soaked them in water. Okay, that's good enough. Let's grate this. Right. Before we start on that, we're gonna check on the... Uh, let's scrape a little bit more. And I'll show you one other thing that I do end up doing um, and later on, but some of the gook, uh, because this is boiling and evaporating, the water level goes down in this, right? So slowly the gook starts building up on the side of the pot inside. So later on when the level goes down a little bit, I grab paper napkins and I scrape off the gook, okay? But we don't need to do that right now. This is pretty good. I'm gonna keep the this guy on there. At some point when we have this boiling enough, uh, oh, what am I saying? One thing I totally forgot to add to this, which is not too late by the way, but always add this, always, always when you're making a chicken broth, apple cider vinegar. It helps break down the minerals from the bones, right? So I'm gonna pour, here, can you see this? Okay, that's about it. That's, you don't need more than that. Okay, that might have even been a little bit too much, but it's good. Okay, and I'm gonna give it a two because it went on the chicken, so I'm just gonna get it into the water. And now we can put the lid back on. And we can add salt to it as well, and I will later on, but for now, let it cook like this. Okay. Let's put this guy here. Chicho has been got. Oh, I got 48 boops. Right? Just wait. Oh, there's our timer. 
that was good we just checked it be careful with the grater so i'm down to this this much very easy to grade your fingers don't grade your fingers okay be careful don't put too much pressure on right and then it gets to down to this right and go like this looking good let it keep on doing this thing it i think it looks like it's gone past the phase where it goes right if i close the lid for sure it'll just spill over right so keep the little bit of open okay chicho first stream i've made glad to be here seems like a very useful topic these days very useful i think so hoof hoof job how are you doing welcome to our stream okay so take a look at this and this by adding potatoes by adding onions right you can also add herbs but i'm not going to add herbs to this one i just want you know the gutlet uh, feel to it but by adding the potatoes and onions you get more volume right so you don't need a full-blown uh, like chunks of meat right hamburger can be veggie burger hamburger can be mix of the meat and the uh, and like potatoes and onions and herbs and stuff like this right we only need a certain amount of protein and one thing that happens when you're eating protein you do need carbs to deliver that protein to your muscles and to well muscles specifically right your brain needs a lot of protein so it's good to have a mix of them in there right they work together okay and definitely you get more volume from it right so let's transfer these to a bowl because we're gonna mix these in with the meat let's throw this in here now one, one thing you can do which i'm probably gonna do right now okay i'm gonna squish out before i mix it in with the with the meat i'm gonna squish out the juices okay because if you take the potatoes if you squish it right you're gonna get some juice out right so i'm gonna take out the juice so it doesn't uh the the hamburgers are gonna be juicy enough you'll see how they turn out okay so let's do this so we got the potatoes cooked up now i think we're ready to put the patties together okay i got my little recipe here I, I know it by heart but every now and then it's good to have the recipe by your hand make sure you're adding everything you need to add right uh, cool and by the way we're going to be adding some breadcrumbs with it and this is my breadcrumbs i 
you know, I buy the bread from the bakery, right? Just local bakery and just put it in the oven. I'll put a whole bunch in the oven, just toast it up so it becomes dry and I break it up, put it in a little blender, breaks it down and you get your own breadcrumbs, right? Fresh breadcrumbs, which is fantastic. This thing's going ballistic. Let's check it out one more time. Nice, that's good, right? Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Burgers of Persian design, burgers of Persian design, right? So let's bring out the meat. Okay. Take a look. And each one of these is uh, one pound. So, and each one was, it was $8 a pound, okay? And it's uh, organic grass-fed beef, right? It's, it's a good thing to do. How? If you're gonna if you're gonna eat beef you want grass-fed beef right so I'm just gonna open these up and put them in the in the bowl come on there we go we need these very tight soya beef what you making hamburgers come on Persian style All right, there's one because he, these have been thawing the plastic is a little bit bloody so I'm not gonna bring the plastic over I'm just grabbing the patty uh, the ground beef itself right and before you do this, you needed to check on the chicken just in case it flows over because your hands are very meaty right now. Family recipe, 100%. Putin roaster, how are you doing? Coolio. Do you think in today's world we could ever get a uh, cannibal? <laughs> I hope not. I guess that platform won't be censoring, which is a positive, right? But someone would get arrested. Four pounds of ground beef. I'm going to freeze some of this. We're going to cook some of the stuff up and freeze some of this. So we have food available, right? Um, it's always a good idea to have a certain amount of food available just in case you're not up for cooking i know which are you doing chicho's fine dining why don't you start a restaurant oh uh <laughs> if for anyone that wants to start a restaurant don't this is one of the worst investment decisions you can make in your life right so here's the dirty stuff i'm gonna put this on top of the chicken and we're gonna wash our hands However, if you want to do a cooking show, it's a great idea, right? And by the way, with the family, we did a farmer's market one year where we had organic food. We had pastries and um, organic food and, and salads and stuff. And we did very well, but it took a lot to take it to the next level, which we didn't commit to, right? It requires capital. It requires everyone to be on the same page and whatnot, right? So here's our four pounds of beef I'm gonna add the onions in there right okay. now we're gonna mix all the stuff up right and I'm gonna do it with hands okay. we're gonna throw in the grated potatoes I could actually throw in a little bit more grated potatoes. That might be a good idea. Should we grate one more potato? I'm gonna grate one more potato. Good. I'm gonna grate one more potato. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. 
I'm going to use the same type of potatoes. That way the consistency is the same. Okay. And there's a secret ingredient that goes into the hamburgers. I'll show you as soon as we're ready for it. You're gonna go, what? You're gonna go, what? Give it a more balanced feel. Chicho, what is the percentage fat content of the ground beef here? You know what? I tried to get my hands on lean beef and I couldn't do it. They were sold out. Uh, so this is just ground beef, medium actually. So medium ground beef. Uh, there's basically three ratings of ground beef. There's just regular ground beef, medium ground beef, and lean ground beef. We're doing medium. Oh, I was gonna squish out the juices. Oh, okay. We'll squish out the juices for this one. Okay, so take a look, just to show you. I should have done it for the rest, but that's okay. See this? All right? You can just squish it out. from that as well. Right. Give it a nice squish. transfer this guy over we're gonna bring this cutting board back I just it's all wet right so I'm just gonna leave it here for now because we're gonna bring this guy here okay so take a look we got our onions with potatoes and the meat in there the patty the uh, ground beef okay we need salt Because before I start mixing it up, I usually put the stuff in there and then when I'm mixing, so I'm going to take one tablespoon. Right? That should be good enough. Some people are very sensitive to salt, some aren't. I might add more later. breadcrumbs okay breadcrumbs should we measure this i usually just go by sight but let's do it by exact measurements so you guys have a good idea of what's what so 
So actually, I'll follow my recipe too. Let's check it out. We got. Da, 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 da. Well, I wrote it down as four toasted breadcrumbs, but this is probably two. So we're going to put two cups. Okay. Two cups. So we took it down this much. Okay. We got our salt. Secret ingredient. Baking soda. Not very much. It's baking soda that gives it that unique flavor. Okay. Not very much. And it makes it juicier. Okay. Right now, because after I mix everything up, there's a certain smell. I, I can tell with the smell if it's the right mix, right? So right now I'm gonna put I'm gonna make it up, mix it up a little bit so it's not crunchy. Right? I'm gonna put this much. That's ah, a little bit too much. Let's say half a regular tablespoon, you're not even a third, okay? Actually, a little bit more. Let's say half, okay? It's a strong flavor. If you go too much, it's too much. And two eggs go in there, and that allows it to stick together, okay? So you know what, before we put the eggs, should we, uh, no, we'll crack the eggs. Let's do it all in one shot. Before we do this, let's check on the soup. Nice, that's exactly what you want for it just to be kirkly, kirkly, right? Chicho should have his own show on Food Network. <laughs> we got our own show here, why not, right? And be careful when you're breaking it so you get no eggshells in there, right? Usually we do this on a plate, on a separate bowl, but I'm okay. Okay. Our waste stuff in here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm just gonna go in here and mix it all up. Makes us all mods loopy. Fun. Let's get in there. Okay. Usually I just mix with one hand, not both. When you're cooking, you need one hand can be dirty, both hands can't be. And these eggs are amazing. They were farm fresh eggs. I should have shown you the yolk on them, the color on them. Was fantastic. Tell, right? These are eggs that were actually we had to wash. They had they hadn't been cleaned. Right? I mean take a look at the color on the yolk, right? Phenomenal. And this is I'm gonna do a fair bit of burgers right now. That way we can have food for like three days or so. And Basically, the rest of it we're going to put in the freezer. We're going to put in the freezer bag and put them in the freezer. And this is going to give us a lot. A lot. Right? We could feed a lot of people with this or have enough food, make sure we're covered for protein and, and just things we need to eat for next few weeks if we need to right. for 
two, three weeks, really. Yes, mate, yeah, it's going good. This is, by the way, on five right now, the soup cooking, right? Chicho, what's the... Uh, What's a type of food you can't stand? What's a type of food I can't stand? McDonald's. <laughs> That's not food, but like anything processed food and stuff, I can't do it anymore. Like that stuff is nasty. Once you start eating healthy, you eat crap. You're like, oh my God, this is crap. Like, <gasps> like you kick yourself for eating that stuff when you were younger or when you didn't know better, right? You're like, oh my God, this this is like the nastiest thing in the world, right? That's what she shows Spider-Man says. That's adorable. We'll be using phrases like Speedy Gonzalez, <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. We love Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the smell I'm looking for. I wish I could share you the smell. Okay, but I can't. And we'll do this. One thing we do do when I make the hamburgers and stuff like this, when these with these cutlets or shish kebabs, sometimes we put on a pan and we will and cook one up just make a quick patting cook one up have a taste just to make sure the salt is good everything is good right? up so you see should we weigh this let's weigh this let's see how much we ended up making right that way you guys have a good idea didn't level the the bowl so I'll put a couple of bowls to compensate for this and we'll level it up let's bring this over uh, let's do this now this isn't leveled up see can you see the scale yeah cool let's level this up okay this should be Waves. Uh, it's got the juices in it, it's the potato juices in it, so let's dump that. Let's see. Let's level this up. Can you see? Okay, let's assume that's the weight of the big bowl. This is seven pounds. Okay. I hope that's pounds. <laughs> Let's make sure. Oh, sorry. So, seven ounces. Not pounds. Seven ounces. Seven ounces. That's it. Oh, no. It's pounds. Seven pounds. It's seven pounds of hamburger meat okay what we just did so let's check on the soup again nice like there's nothing else to be taken out of this that's fantastic what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of salt in this now okay
I'm going to add half a teaspoon. Okay, just that much. Trust me, how long do you boil the chicken for? Um, we've boiled it, how long have we been going right now? We've boiled it right now for, we started 12 for an hour approximately, right? I'm gonna boil it for another 20 minutes and I'm gonna kick it down low, okay? What do we need to do? We need to do a couple of things. We need to do a couple of things. What was it that we needed to do? Let me just check, make sure I got everything I needed to get into the hamburgers. So, Onions, potatoes, egg, salt, we got it all. Let me give it another smell. Yep, that's good enough. I might add a little bit more baking soda and salt. Rice, we're gonna cook rice too. What did you take out on the chicken? What did you take out on the chicken? What do you mean? Spear Gonzalez style. Ninja rice. <laughs> Um, okay, the other thing we need to do before we get rid of the cutting board stuff, I'm gonna wash, cut some. Here, let me do this first. Let me get rid of this. And this. I'm gonna cut up some potatoes thin because we're gonna make some potato chips, I guess. As long as we've got the oven going. Okay. You remove something from the water? Uh, did I remove something from? Yeah, it was the gook of the chicken that was building up. All right? Take a look. This stuff. You can see it here, right? So when you boil chicken, you're going to get a certain amount of gook on it. It's just the nature of the beast, right? And you want to remove that. It's not really the fat coolio. It's, I called it gook. I don't know. I don't think that's the official term for it. Okay. Now, we got the potatoes. Let's cut up some potatoes. We're gonna cut up some potatoes thin. And what I'm gonna do, here. Uh, actually, no, before we do the potatoes, let's do the cabbage first. Okay. Just because the cabbage I want to wash. Now this is kimchi style of cabbage. Okay. So it's not as solid and we're not making kimchi right now. We're just going to cut it up. So we're going to fry up the onions first and then throw in the cabbage. Uh, once the rice is cooked, we're going to put it all together. Can you make... Uh, uh, curly fries? Not right now. Not curly fries right now. I'm not set up for it. And I don't have the cutting things to do it. So I'm going to do half a cabbage. Okay. So take a look. So it's not as dense as the other cabbages. Yeah, we'll put this guy in there too. So we can make some counter space and put the stuff in the fridge. Nice. That's good. So let's put this here. So we've already used up some of the outer layers of the cabbage and those were washed. So with cabbages, it's usually outer layers that are dirtier, right? So I'm just gonna chop this up, throw in a bowl and rinse it. That's it. So we're going to take off the gooky layer. Take a look. It's like onions, right? You can see if it's certain layers might have 
been turning, right? So you can just take them off. It's not gonna kill you, but why well, have that in there? Where'd it go? Right there. And we compost all this stuff, right? Take a look. You can see it from here. Right? So we're going to take that out. This cabbage needs to be used. That's the one thing in your fridge in general. What we end up cooking is usually what needs to be cooked, right? So what we end up eating is usually uh, sort of whatever we bought first, right? First in, first out. Okay, let's just cut these guys up first so we don't run out of space, right? in our bowl. And cabbage is amazing for you, right? Take the temperature down on this a little bit okay I'm putting it down to three as soon as it cools down a little bit where it's not going crazy with boiling I'll close the lid on it that way we're not losing the water to evaporation too much because we're gonna cook this for 40 for 24 hours at least right or are your neighbors still having uh, big parties yeah they did last night they had a gathering so there was at least, uh, I don't know if it was big parties. It's, it's a gathering, right? Uh, there was at least four or five of them in there. Um, you know, it could be their partners. Just two, you know, two people sharing a space. And they probably have partners. So, you know, if they have partners, it's legit. And if people are living together, then it's legit to have like four people. Because if you have a partner, then you're interacting with your partner and if you have a roommate you're interacting with your roommate so it's the same deal right but it is what it is the one thing uh, that i don't agree with is telling people how to live their lives you can make recommendations right but i've gone past the stage of being very forceful in my opinions of how people should live their lives, right? Up to them. They pay the price if they need to, right? Treat adults like adults. And children, don't treat them as an infant. Treat them as intelligent human beings, right? So, I'm going to add a little salt to this guy. I'm just going to pour water on it. Right? I'm going to pour a little bit more salt and then I'm going to put a plate. I'll show it to you. Hold on. I'm going to put a plate on the bowl so uh, 
the cabbage, all of it gets submerged into the salt water. You're my six-year-old daughter's cooking education show right now. Awesome, Knights of Old Comics. Hello. <laughs> Eat your cabbage, it's very good for you, okay? So take a look. I just have this just sitting in water. And you give it a little mix, you got salt in there, so you wanna have salt water, right? With vegetables, I wash all of my vegetables with salt water. Right? Let them sit in there for a bit. Salad vegetables, salad greens, whatever they are. Okay. I'm just going to put this on top. So they all get submerged. She loved that. Thank you. My pleasure. Nice of old comics. And listen to your dad. And mom. Right? Okay. So we got that guy there. Let me just give this a wipe. Okay. Now we're gonna cut up cabbage more iron than meat. Is it, Martin? Cabbage more iron than meat? No. Really? This is the last stuff we need to cut, and then we can use the stove top. Okay. I'm gonna slice these up thin so we can make potato chips, basically. Okay. And have some uh, yam here as well that I need to uh, peel. They're a little dirty. I've washed them, but the potatoes are clean. They're good, right? They're not. So basically, I slice them thin right potato chip style and i'll show you what i do with these because as long as we're going to use the oven might as well make potato chips <laughs> right i'm finally done with work yeah yeah spider-man these cooking streams usually go on for a while because spending time in the kitchen is a great thing definitely need to sharpen the knife I'm not gonna sharpen it right now we do have a sharpener here by the way yeah just take a look oh it's buried no it's not here this is our sharpener right but I started to cook with this I'm gonna continue to cook with this I was watching Spider-Man 2 earlier. Nice. Spider-Man 2. That's Dr. Octopus, isn't it? Doc Ock. Okay, that's one potato. Let's put that guy there. I think we're just gonna make potatoes. I don't think we're gonna make the yams because we're not gonna have enough room. Is that enough? No, that's not gonna be enough. We'll do the yam later.
more sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes later. Awesome, awesome. Okay, sweet potatoes later. Now, are we done chopping? Are we done chopping? I think we're done chopping. That's it. So, we're gonna start using the stove top. Yeah, the chopping is fantastic, Bob. How are you doing? Welcome to another stream, by the way. Fun. Let's do. So. I'm gonna put these guys back here because I'm gonna move these guys. And we're gonna lay down the potatoes. Uh, let's put these guys here. And that guy can go there. We need to make some space. We need to make some space. Let's put this guy here. Do we need these guys? Let's put this guy here. Cool. Let's check this out. Still boiling away. Look at that. See the level of water drop? The water was up to here. Okay. Now it's down to there. It's gone down about an inch. Okay. What I'm going to do is close it up now. I don't want the water to evaporate anymore. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick this down to two, but I'm going to keep a close eye on it because I don't want it to foam up. When will you... Show us your uh, blacksmithing skills. I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any. Here, let's put the potatoes over here. That's the potatoes. Let's take our cutting board. This is the bigger cutting board I have, right? I love this bigger cutting board. Uh, my mom gave it to me, and I think she's watching right now. Hi, mom. <laughs> she might be watching right now. And believe it or not, this is the first live stream I think she's ever watching of mine. So let's do this. Let's make sure this isn't Chicho's mom is on the stream. What? <laughs> she's the one that showed me how to cook. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So what do we need to do? We need to lay down the potatoes. Okay, we're gonna lay down the potatoes right now. So let me bring this out. I'm gonna put the potatoes on parchment paper. Okay, just because it's so much simpler than oiling things up and cleaning them afterwards. Where is she? She's in Vancouver, I'm in Victoria. Greetings, Chicho, my mom, <laughs> Mame Chicho. Nice. Thank you for sending uh, salutations to my mom. Right? So, parchment paper, okay, it's silicon and it can take up to 400, it says here 425 Fahrenheit in the oven, right? I'm gonna set it on 400, okay? So, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put this on bake and we're gonna put it on. Let's say 375. No, no, let's go 400. Oh, actually, no, I can't put it on that yet because I have my trays on there. Okay, before we do that, we have to cook it up first. Right? So let's put the parchment paper here. This is larger than, uh, wider than I'm usually used to. This is definitely on the wide side. Do we keep it? Ah, we keep it. It's okay. And parchment paper, you don't need oil. You shouldn't need oil, but I'm going to put some oil on there. Okay. And this is just grapeseed oil that I'm using right now. Because the oil, I'm going to 
switch the computer around in it. This parchment paper is wide. You know what? Let's cut it up. It's too wide, the parchment paper. Fit more potatoes here, I might chop up more. Sometimes we can see Victoria from a San Juan Islands. Oh, really? Nice. You're across the water from us. That means I can see you guys. I was on the beach yesterday walking, getting some sun because we're supposed to get rain for the next week or so. So uh, I looked in your direction. Salutations, neighbor. So one potato took up almost the whole tray, right? I'm jealous. You're allowed to go outside uh yeah but we keep our distance like people are really good now they're you know if we're walking on a sidewalk people go on the road and stuff like this it's 1984 movie yeah that it is that it is the one lucky thing with you know Canada and the United States, it should be considered lucky, but people, you know, care wasn't taken enough. Uh, but there was warning given, right? We had plenty of time to rea react. That's good. People have been rubbishing. Oh, really? Unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven right now because I can just turn it on as it heats up, it cooks. Right? Okay. So that guy went into the bottom layer. look at it just going crazy still right this is set a little bit less than two even okay. are people allowed to come and go to Victoria uh, yeah I think so still I believe so I mean the ferries are still running it's you know We've talked. Uh, oh no, we still need this. We've talked a fair bit about this, and and we will continue to talk about it. We're doing a COVID nineteen live stream on April first. I believe that's a Tuesday. So uh, it is what it is. was nervous but educated cook <laughs> we're cooking up a fair bit of stuff here so what we got to do after this is uh, 
we're going to cook up a little bit of the meat. I want to try it out. Make sure the salt is good. Make sure the we have enough baking soda in there. The smell was good. I could probably use a little bit more baking soda, but that's okay. So two and a bit potatoes. Okay. April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day, we're going to look at COVID-19. And uh, what I want to look at is the fatality rates, the different ways we can calculate the fatality rates. That's what I'm going to focus on. Okay, and of course, open discussion. Chicho, Fiona daughter wants to know what, your, what, what day your birthday is. Uh, Fiona? Uh... I I don't share my date of birth the day online and that's something you should do as well there's certain things that are very personal so you keep to yourself one of the reasons being is because once you share more information then people can use that against you in a certain way online so you have to have online discipline to uh, make sure you're safe you and your family are safe right that being said I've gone past half a century okay Whew. so what we want to do right now is cook up one of the just a little bit of the meat just to have a taste on it right so let me bring this up let me bring this up this is our cast iron All right, let me just give it a little rinse Actually, I should use the bigger ones because we're going to be using the bigger ones anyway. Let me use the bigger one. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not going to use the bigger one because the bigger one is going to be all veggies, right? New strategy. If we ask Chicho what day his birthday is, not <laughs> on enough times, we can narrow it down. <laughs> all you got to do is hit up uh, 364, right? Is it this day? Is it this day? Is it this day? That's funny. fun okay let's kick this up let's make a little patty right and fry it up and see what uh, what we got cooking smells good I think it's gonna need more salt but just to be on the safe side we do okay. and while that's going on what we can do is because we're going to put the hamburgers in these. Okay. November is it's in there. <laughs> sure, Chicho. So you're telling me you may have streamed on your birthday one day and we had no idea. Possibly. <laughs> there are certain days that need to be celebrations, right? 420 comes to mind. Chicho birthday would then be the 
Birthday of the universe. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I should have put some olive oil with usually when you get just a heads up if you get the beef that is lean right you're gonna put some olive oil in there or some kind of oil but usually put olive oil but because this was just straight up I'm just gonna fry up one easy peasy see what we got <laughs> what fun what fun oh cult of chicho started again <laughs> hilarious everybody was hamburgers 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 the chicho oh by the way uh chichoians spot of tea i got something going on with the chichoians I've, um, I'm gonna make the video and announce it on uh, YouTube but we got approved for YouTube membership join thing and uh, I set up the different tiers <laughs> one of the tiers is the Chichoy Chichoy oh I didn't add the N I I added the, I just said Chicho I Chicho onions Chicho onions I should I, I made it C H Y C H O I A N it's like Armenian but Chichuyan. I didn't add the extra uh, N in the middle. I hope that's okay. The more live streams I watch, the more I consider myself a member of the God of Chicho. I gotta put on my glasses. I can't read the names. Huckleberry, how are you doing? How's life? Right on. That's hilarious. <laughs> We need to flip this guy. Let's check it out. I lost the handle. We lost the wooden part of the our spatula. A bad time to lose the wooden part of your spatula. <laughs> you don't want to go into the you know play curfew to go looking for a spatula. It doesn't make sense. It's just a ride. It's just a ride. It's just a ride just arrived by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh, thank you for being here thank you for the conversations while this thing is cooking up I'm gonna give a little run through again if you want to follow our work patreon is a great place to be right we share all the content there there's gonna be a lot of content being built there specifically regarding the mathematics how it links up with everything uh, if you're watching this on another platform after the live stream, we are on Twitch. We're live streaming on Twitch. So if you want to uh, enjoy these live streams live, Twitch is where you want to be. We do announce these on uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, a lot of interaction on Twitter, uh, as well as Gab's, Mines, LO, and VK. And we're going to be right now uploading these to YouTube and BitChute, and most likely in other platforms as well, right? And remember, flatten the curve right now on March 26, 2020. Give your healthcare providers a break. Help them out. Right? Chichoyan, Chichoanian. It's like those missing <laughs> U's and U.S. Nice spelling. Let's check this out. Looking good? I'll bring it up close once this side sizzles a little bit. Ah, thanks, Spider Man. Would you have any uh, kindergarten level math videos? Uh, Knights, of, uh, Knights of Old Comic have. Um, I started a series called uh, Early Education, right? Talking about counting talking about adding multiplying and I'm gonna build that series further so we're gonna go into subtracting and division afterwards and I'm gonna create some exercises and stuff 
just have to free up the time, right? I've I've been having a lot of uh, people, and this is this is a paradigm shift, right? Uh, people have to appreciate this because what's been happening is, as people are becoming more and more aware, people are realizing. I'm looking for my people. People are realizing. Oh, there it is. I'm looking for this. People are realizing they need to be very proactive in educating their children, and this is a new paradigm to a certain degree coming from people having kids in these generations, right? The older generations, you know, the system. They assume the system took care of their kids' education. So as time has progressed, uh, you know, I've been at this for 20 years. I was usually high school. I started getting a lot of people requiring help, right? But in the last five years, four years, I'm getting a lot of requests for uh, early childhood education. So I'm going to provide the content for that. My pleasure, night of old. My pleasure, night of old. It's... Again, I've mentioned this before. It's it's for the as far as I'm concerned, it's from self-preservation uh, perspective as well, right? The more educated our society is, the better we will all be, right? We won't depend on a centralized system. Our kids can have the tools at their disposal to be able to do what they need to do, right? Uh, and the centralized education system is definitely horrendous. I don't care where you are, right? One hour, one honor, or two honor. How often do you wash your wash your beard? Every time I take a shower, which is every day. <laughs> well, I know some people don't, by the way, but I do. I uh, I have I don't know my genetics suits it, right? I, And I cook a lot, right? Like, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, so I'm around heat and grease and stuff, so I try to, you know, <laughs> be, be clean. I'm a four-year-old to join in June. Ah, oh, nice, four years, awesome. Chichonian. I, I gotta see if I can change the name on that on YouTube. Hope we make it. With the internet, you can really learn anything from a uh, subject, yeah. Do you use uh, conditioner? No, I don't use conditioner. Uh, every now and then, because I shave with uh, uh, coconut oil, right? So, when I have coconut oil left over, let's check this out. Make sure it's cooked. So take a look. Mm, here, I'll put it in the plate so you see. Okay. I'm gonna do a little taste test. And we're gonna turn this off so it cools down. Because this is all we need for a taste test, right? Take a look. So the inside is cooked, right? The outside looks crispy. Take a look. So the inside is cooked. I don't want the hamburger to be red, not ground beef anyway. And the outside is nice and crispy, right? So let's have a little taste test. Okay, we're gonna let that cool down a little bit. Yeah, so coconut oil, I, you know, whatever coconut oil is left, I rub it in. So I guess I do. It's coconut oil, really. Oh, man, I remember finding Chicho shaving video back in 2008. Nice, I think. And then in, like, 2012, I found his mouth. Nice, nice. Yeah, that first shaving video. Very good. Mmm, delicious. I wish I could share it with you guys. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, this doesn't need anything. You could maybe use it, make it a little bit saltier, but, uh, you know, there's some people that don't want salt that much, right? Some people have high blood pressure and stuff, so I keep it to a minimum. Would you ever shave completely again? Yeah, for sure, Spotify. 100%. Not right now, though. I'm very much enjoying the goatee. One of the reasons I would shave again is to grow the full beard again, 
right? I miss the full beard. And the full beard is absolutely phenomenal. Really, if you have the capability of growing a full beard and you have never grown a full beard, you are missing out in life on every level, right? On every level. And I put out videos regarding that, giving you my perspective on what it means to have a full beard and how you interact with society and where it puts you, right? So grow a full beard. This is fantastic. <laughs> okay, again. Yeah, Spider Man, I gotta make more of them, the beard videos. I just haven't been in the mindset to change this look, right? So. I don't want to change things up. Okay. We're going to lay down the hamburgers. Okay. So let me do this. Let me check on this again. The soup. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. I want it to be curling like this hard for the next like two hours. Okay. Now this guy we can just put this is hot so we need to transfer this that's hot we need to transfer that but this is what we're going to do let's put that there Booker, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to our live stream. I'm not sure how long you've been here, but thanks for dropping by. Okay, that's that. And I'm gonna bring up this one as well. His hands are gonna become meaty. Okay, so I'm gonna put this guy here. Balancing things all over the place okay wash hands make patties lay them in here okay and i'm gonna put this guy here So I'm gonna drain the the cabbage right now, okay? Let me just do this. Get this out of the way. And you can use the plates. I mean, the beauty of putting a plate up top, you can just use the plate and just slowly tip it and the water comes out. Captain Hawk, how you doing? We got chicken broth going on, right? I'm gonna kick it down just a little bit to one and a half, and we're making hamburgers. So, take a look. Just take a handful. Right? Now you don't need oil on here. Ah, I should put oil. No, we don't need the oil. It's parchment paper, so that's good enough. Huh? Well, these are a little thick, so um, no, it shrinks. One thing with ground beef is shrinks a lot. Actually, meat shrinks a lot when you cook it, so might as well. That one is a little bit too thick. Look, I want to be able to fit three on there. Should it be three? Let's check it out. Here, I'll make it a little bit thinner. Right. That one's good. Then we can put more on there. Yes. 
So I want to make enough for us to be able to have food for at least three days. Okay. That's what I'm shooting for, right? I think uh, like we haven't been eating too much protein for the last little while. So I thought a good idea for us just to get a nice protein hit because, you know, it's good to have that power in you right now. Why not? Right? Yeah, I'm going to be these hamburgers. I'm going to be baking them in the oven. And I should, I should have turned on the oven, actually. Which we can do right now. With the back of our fingers. Yeah. And we're going to be freezing some of this. And once we're ready to make another batch of hamburgers, we're going to do a barbecue and we'll do a live stream barbecue. Okay. Let me turn this on. Bake. We're going to go 400. And remember, the potatoes are in there too. The potatoes are going to cook faster, right? So I have to keep an eye out on the potatoes. So I'm going to put a timer on here. 15 minutes. Okay. And I check it. one now I'm not gonna put the hamburgers in there yet I want the oven to heat up a little bit and apologies about the sound but when you turn on the oven the fans kick in Doing long time no see. How is life? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut this a little bit on this side. This tray that we have is a little bit shorter, but uh, wider. Today you made cheeseburgers, nice. So we have eight burgers, eight patties there. Total weight on this was about uh, seven pounds, right? So we had eight there, 10, 15. So we're making 15 patties today. The rest of those I'm gonna make into a patty and put them in a freezer lock freezer bag and we're going to put them in the freezer okay so i'm just going to remove this and then we're going to deal with the patties make some more let's just move this over here We 
when the oven heats up uh, to around 300, I'm gonna put the patties in there. Right now it's about 175, okay? But for now, we want to make patties and put them in a freezer bag. And this is how much is left. Take a look, so it's a fair bit left. And I got two plates here, so I'm just gonna make the patties, put them here, and then transfer. Okay. And this is something you should, everybody should be doing right now. If if you're at home, if there's something going around that you might be taking out of commission for a few days, okay, or even if there's like two or three of you, because if the flu hits and in a household, you know, it's contagious. Other people get hit as well. So you wanna have some food prepped so people can still get their tummies filled. One of the things you need to have is the broth, right? Ridiculously important to have broth uh, in these times. Even if it's just preserves, just have something handy. So that's six right there. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows, thank you for the subs, thank you for the discussions, thank you for the sharing of information and the likes. Let's just make the patties on top of each other for now. And the egg really keeps the patty together, right? And we do, you know, some of you may know, my partner is a nurse and we do have nurse friends, right? And they're working their asses off. So the odds are we're gonna, from the 15 we're gonna make right now, we're gonna give some, you know, just a hand, just a couple, two or three of them, four of them, to them, so they they're fed as well. Uh, if they need to, if they're getting a little overstressed, right? We're not socially interacting, but if somebody needs some food, you should provide it to them. If they need, we'll call them up and see what's what. Captain Hawk, I made creme brulee nice last night for my parents' anniversary, and I was surprised at how easy it was to make at home. It was actually very crazy to do with a propane blow. Oh yeah, the propane when you burn the top, propane blowtorch, and super crunchy. Then cream. Oh, nice. That's fantastic. Brulee. I have a recipe, creme uh, caramel, creme caramel, uh, we call it, that uh, my mom handed me down, and it's fantastic. I've never made it though, but maybe we will. We will make some. I have to kind of donate some latex gloves to my brother-in-law who is a nurse. Nice. I love the kindness you show. I just doing it. Nice, nice. Latex gloves are hard to find in my area right now. Very difficult to find.
and that's the last one so I didn't count these we'll count them as we put them into the into the bags right what do you think of the carnivore diet car just all only meat uh, I disagree with it You need veggies in your life. You need minerals in your life. It's not just about the protein and all whatnot. Construction mass are hard to find. Wow. Cool. That's beautiful. Did you see? Take a look. Nice. I'm going to keep that going. So, I want to transfer these. Mm, do we need this anymore? I don't think we need this anymore. However, I'm not going to dirty it up fully. I'm going to put it here. Because that's just that. Usually I would throw this into the sink, but I'm not yet because we might need it still. So I'm just going to put this guy here. And what we're going to do is put the patties in the freezer bags. What's the chicken for? It's broth, spot of tea. So we're going to make broth heavy broth okay and the chicken once it's done so i'm going to cook this for 24 hours right i'm going to kick it down a little bit more actually and uh the chicken i end up uh taking out right we take out the we separate the meat from the broth right but then the chicken i take out and it's all broken down after that right after 24 hours or 18 hours at least right it's going to be 24 hours uh, what I do, I put it in one of these uh, casserole things, add salt and oil on it, and I put it in the oven, and you make crispy chicken. It's crazy addictive. Salty, oily, crispy. I mean, it's, it's not the nutrition aspect of it. It's the deliciousness aspect of it. And we eat that with the soup. So what do we need? What do we need? I need to put the bags in there. So let's bring this over. Let's bring the bags. We're going to need two bags at least. I'm going to prep three bags just in case. Yeah, it's fantastic. Super delicious. So I'm going to have three bags. I'm going to put patties in there. And we'll count them up to see how much we've got. So that's six. Chicho, you said something uh, about the YouTube uh, joint program. I did sign up for the Patreon. What's the best way to support between those two? Uh, Spider-Man Patreon would be it, because YouTube, uh, the way it works for Twitch, they take 50% cut, right? Uh, unless you're Twitch Prime, then it doesn't cost you anything uh, when you follow join. Uh, it's just, you know, a perk you get with Twitch. Um, Amazon Prime, right? Um, otherwise, Twitch takes 50%. YouTube is, with the join, is taking uh, 30%, right? With Patreon, all it is is just a transfer fee they charge uh, when they go to, to PayPal. So that's the most efficient way. Uh, bang for your buck. So that's 12 right there. It is better to send you direct donation. Uh, here's the kicker with direct donation, Spider-Man, uh, with PayPal, it's actually more cost effective to be through Patreon. I guess they cut them a deal. With direct donations in Canada, you can send to a friend and it's free. If you send it to outside, like if it's coming from the States, 
it uh, it costs money, right? There's transfer fee involved and stuff. So I think even through Patreon is cheaper. I still haven't. I, I, that's what I see, right? Uh, at some point, I think we'll cr crunch the numbers. I'll get the YouTube join thing going and see what the end result is, right? So right now we have uh, twelve and five so 17 patties ready to go to the freezer which is fantastic right which is really good so i'm going to wash my hands and put these in the freezer right now so do you not get any money with twitch prime so yeah i do uh with twitch prime i, I think subscribing is five dollars so twitch prime 250 comes our way right uh when you're joining through twitch prime you get 249 i think that's what it is Now my freezer is pretty full with, uh, we put a lot of greens in there and stuff. Okay, that's the temperature. Oh, no, no, that's not. That's the timer. Let's check it out. Okay, the potatoes are making, this is reaching 400, so I'm gonna throw the hamburgers in there. Okay. Get these guys out of the way. Thank you for asking, by the way, Spider-Man. Uh, and then there's on uh, Twitch, there's also bits and stuff. I'm not sure how the bits, uh, what the cut is that Amazon gets from those. So I'm gonna check to see. Okay, I'm gonna kick this down a little bit more. Dante, how you doing? What's up, brother? Wow, that's crazy. I feel bad about that. Uh, I wish they didn't take uh, such a uh, it is what it is spider-man i don't know what the costs are i mean you youtube is google google alphabet inc alphabet inc is uh, do they even have a dividend i don't know if they have a dividend they're doing stock buybacks anyway i guess but it is what it is So I'm gonna put the stuff in the freezer on a f on this and put it in the freezer with this so the stuff doesn't get crunched up, right? So let's do this. We're gonna seal it. So we got 17 patties ready to go. I've been sick this past. Oh no, now I found out my temperature is slightly elevated as well. Oh, Dante. Oh no, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, oof. Dante, vitamin C. Do you have vitamin C? Take some vitamin C. Okay. Um, when I got the flu in January, it was very difficult to sleep for like three days. Okay. I've been holed up uh, at home or anyway. Oh, okay, not wishing a, wishing the best, Dante. Uh, so Dante, for me anyway, when I got the flu, dry cough. Do you have dry cough? What's going on with the cough? Do you have dry cough? That means your your chest might be heavy, it feels solid, but the cough is gone. The cough is gone. Okay, sweet. That's good. That's a good sign. Um, are you able to sleep? 
And what we're going to do right now, I'm just going to fry up the onions. Are you able to sleep? Yeah, I slept. Okay. Okay. Uh, then do what you need to do. Take your vitamin C. Uh, if you got a sore throat, gargle with salt water. Okay. Uh, check your temperature. If your temperature keeps on up, down, up, down, up, down, uh, keep an eye on it. Martin, you have slept in the week. What is that? Because uh, uh, because of what? I hope it's not because you're sick, brother. Is it cider effect? You're not sick, Martin, are you? I hope not. We're gonna cook, cook up these guys. And actually, what we're gonna do is let me transfer this guy. Actually, this guy we can dump into the sink now. Let's put this guy here. Anxiety keeps us awake at night. Anxiety, yeah, uh, no. Strangely, I never get sick. You don't get sick. Okay, nice. You're well preserved. The cider preserves you well, right? Yeah, and anxiety, the stress is a huge thing, right? So, you need to keep stress down to a minimum at possible. is going into the sink. We wash it later, take care of it later. It's the creatine. Big cider fan, spot of tea. No, Martin is, yeah. Four small pills is like eating two chickens, oh my god. Sci master, how are you doing? So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry up onions in here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring another pot here, put some water into the pot and start boiling the water because we're gonna cook some rice. cups of rice that I've soaked. Okay. Let's turn this up. Let's put it right over. Where is our onions? This is the onions that we chopped up. Got everything going. Hey Chicho, glad I caught. Richard, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Doing well, brother. Thank you very much. I got everything cooking up. Oh, I gotta check on the potatoes. No, they're still doing good. Temperature hasn't kicked up to 400 yet. Okay. Yeah, I was on a four hour flight for about a week, but thankfully I've gotten the handle on it. Four hour flight, yikes. Famous. 
Oh, for the wedding case, man. Yeah, those are super cool, man. Super cool. All over the papers, yeah, yeah. Yes, you must drink water. Lots of water, creatine, yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful pictures, by the way, case, man. Fantastic pictures. You gotta look it's very cute. Very cute. And cute is amazing, right? By the way, for those that don't know, Case Man had a wedding arranged that they were supposed to get married. I forget when. Latin, Latin. It was supposed to be later on or at the, when you guys got married. But they canceled the wedding uh, for obvious reasons and they ended up getting married in their kitchen. And there's pictures of it right up on it. Beautiful pictures. We were actually supposed to go to a wedding. Tomorrow was supposed to be the date. Wow, 327. Cool. We were supposed to go to a wedding in April and it got canceled. We got a notification a couple of days ago saying, yeah, we have to cancel it for obvious reasons, of course, right? Much love to your family. Yeah, Case, man. It's still super cool what you guys did. Yeah, for sure. And you guys look like crazy cute together, really. I'm gonna pop a chocolate. Ready, ready, ready. This is the the chocolates I showed you guys that we get from the local chocolate place that they make chocolate. It's the ends of the bars that they make. They're protein bars. And this is mint. Nice. We got like up this much of it, like homemade like local chocolate this much of it was like nine dollars such a great price and they also have peanut butter and a couple other flavors Barbecue. This year for sure we do barbecue. I'm turning down the temperature on this. It was a little too high. And that's the oven telling me it reached 400. Okay. Caseman got married in his kitchen and now Chicho in, is in his kitchen the day before when Caseman's original wedding would have been coincidence. <laughs> no, <laughs> hilarious, Julio. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Chicho's the most. Wow, that looks so yummy. Yeah, fried onions is the best. And make it, yeah. Oof. Making things with chocolate is something I haven't been able to master yet, or even do well yet. Working with chocolate is difficult. This one's good. This this guy, the chicken now, you can just leave, right? I'll turn it down again a little bit more, maybe in an hour, and just let it simmer. I don't want it to curdle too heavy, you know, for 24 hours. This is pretty good right now. Actually, I'll kick it down even lower. I'm putting it at like one. Okay. Yes. Cool. Excellent. Should we pour ourselves some liqueur? Chicho. Tempering chocolate can be tricky, very tricky, very tricky. I've tried a couple of times. Man, what a mess, first of all. By the way, Catholic traditionalist, welcome. <laughs> nice to see you again. But it's it's messy and it burns fast and it's you need to double pot water and splash everywhere. It's like, oh, what a, what a pain, what a pain. What a pain, what a pain. I'm gonna go get some of the cure. I'll be right back.
This is uh, blackberry. Blackberry added sugar 2018 blackberry and um, blueberry strong 2016 was the original time we made it I've graded this thing 9 out of 10 let's have some liqueur that's my labeling system I'm gonna put an ice cube in this This looks fantastic, fantastic. Look at this. That's enough. Look at the color on this. Oh my God. My, I'm far closer to your drinking now. Oh, salute, salute everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay. Mm. Very good. Very, very good very very delicious phenomenal make your own liqueur again okay it's beautiful it's beautiful oh wow so very very good so very very good Uh, Tyrion, how did I make the liqueur? Oh, we got liqueur videos out there, brother. <laughs> if you go to the YouTube channel, if you do Chicho liqueur, there's a bunch of videos. I think we've done three or four liqueur videos so far, at least, right? Uh, super easy to make. You take fruit, add vodka or gin. I add vodka, this is vodka, and sugar. Let it sit, okay? And build up your co a collection because the liqueurs are also medicinal there's certain liqueurs that are medicinal depending on what you're using and uh it's an amazing treat right because we talked about really important to reduce your stress level right if you have a nice selection of food and drink and healthy healthy stuff to consume your stress level just goes down man it keeps you healthy okay You'll check it out. I hope you find it useful. I know there's a few people that are making their own liqueurs based on uh, what we did. I consider al alcohol. Yeah, alcohol, it's all, it's all about the dosage, really. It's all about the dosage, right? Okay, we're gonna add the cabbage.
Look at all this cabbage. Look at all this cabbage. Beautiful, delicious cabbage. Let's put this guy here. A little rim, right? Here, let me show you how much cabbage we got here. Right? Fill it to the rim. The cabbage breaks down a lot, right? So, I'll let it cook, kick it down a notch. Would love to see another liqueur stream. Yeah, for sure, spot of tea. Um, in spring, we'll do. Uh, just gotta get the fruit, right? But we're not gonna do it right now. Right now, I'm not gonna go hunting for fruit to make liqueur videos. I'm not gonna go, like, there's a lineup for liquor stores and stuff like this. And, uh, we'll wait until a better time arrives to be out and about, right? There's so many streams we want. Uh, Chicho, can't keep up, can't keep up. I love cabbage, such an amazing vegetable. Yeah, such an amazing vegetable, versatile vegetable. You can make cabbage rolls like the dolmans, but cabbage is amazing. This is so, my God, this is, this goes down to, and this is just vodka, right? <laughs> like fruit, sugar, it's, it's like juice, so you have to be careful. And you can always add soda to it. It makes a soda drink. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. Chicho cliff jumping. I gotta do, I gotta follow up on that. With every lane open, I still had to wait through 30 plus minutes to check out at the store today. What? That's crazy, Sci Master. The lines are crazy. Whoa, where are you at, Sci Master? That's. Oof. I haven't gone. I went a few days ago to get some supplies. New York City. Oh, dude. Oof. Uh, yeah, be careful. Really. I have friends there, and uh, we have some people from New York City that are on the stream one of them sleepy waves and he's been keeping us posted as, as to what's going on he posted today he posted the video from um, a hospital in new york city around his uh, neighborhood i love the beer thank you very much and thank you for the follows thank you for the subs gang i'm sorry if i'm not catching it all i'm sort of doing a whole bunch of stuff okay uh and trying to stay up with the chat right loving the chat loving the chat social very social it's not social distancing it's physical distancing right yeah waiting to enter store queues here waiting to enter the store queues yeah they're letting here too some places and here uh, some places are not accepting cash be careful in your societies if they try to eliminate cash if they try to eliminate cash you are no longer uh if you ever were you know based on your centralized centralized system uh, but your freedom is completely gone if cash is eliminated so that's a huge no no huge no no huge no no nice look at this i love it when cabbage cooks it gets brighter and then you want it to break it down the water here is getting hotter and once we're done with this we're going to cook the rice and then mix up the cabbage and the onions together okay they have cool. Okay. Salute again. I might have to top it up. <laughs> Martin, if you were here, brother. My friend on Facebook say the lizards have orchestrated all this. Possible. But is he relevant? 
what the cause of this is, who, where it originated from, and all this jazz. There's a lot of theories out there. What's important right now is people for real are getting sick, right? Once the storm blows over, we can all figure out what really took place. But during the storm is not the best time to do an investigation. During the storm is to bunker down, make sure you don't the storm doesn't take you out of the game. And once the storm's over, and during the storm you can do plant seeds and stuff. That's what we've been doing for a little while, right? Uh, looking at the data, doing the streams, talking about our current events and all that jazz, economics, right? Uh, but once the storm is over, you know, I got my fingers crossed. More people are going to be awake right there's a few things that have happened throughout society where people all of a sudden wake up we'll see what happens this time we'll see what happens this time look at this beautiful thing and it smells amazing it smells amazing look at this very good very good very good now I'm not gonna actually I'm gonna add some mint to this okay it's like Spanish influenza nothing to do with Spain nothing to do with Spain right nothing to do with Spain but remember gang we made videos where um, we dried mint we got like three or four different videos of drying mint right it comes in handy we've got videos where you made jam and uh what do you call it uh sauces and whatnot right it's always a good idea in season to harvest fruit and make some preserves and make some dried goods so you have it so you're not chasing it uh when if the need arises right they change their closed-minded ways. They change their closed-minded ways. It's originated from the royal family. Da, 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 da. Uh, I still don't get the uh, mechanics behind the death rate and hospital. We're going to look at the death rate, okay? The fatality rate. If the amount of severe cases is this low, and it is low, how come the hospitals overrun? We're going to look at the stuff on April first. Uh, co another COVID stream, updating data. Chicho, surely cutting down on cash transactions during this period will reduce spreading uh, to a certain degree however if your society tries to remove cash from your society after the storm passes freedom gone right I have a friend who works in a supermarket as a cashier and I know she's worried about having to make money from people's hands uh, for sure th th these are extra circumstances but you could always wear gloves and whatnot the kicker is there is the possibility that centralized institutions are trying to eliminate cash altogether and this is one of the pretenses that they're using it right as the saying goes power never uh, never uh, what is it uh, lets a good pandemic go to waste to acquire more power or let a good crisis go to waste to acquire more power right look at uh, look at uh patriot act right that thing gets renewed every few years that's crazy right i'm gonna check out the mint right so this is our dried mint i'm gonna crumble some of this in here right? mint that we picked we dried and we jarred right? and I have a lot of these we did a lot of this and mint is amazing right I'm actually drinking uh, Persian black tea mint and ginger that has been my to go to uh, to go to tea for the last week and ginger is amazing all you do is just you know, we have ginger, and we cut these up, right? Just cut off a little bit, like you would cut off this much, right? And you can just scrape off the ginger, put it in your teapot, and you got ginger tea. Right? A little bit more. 
it's also brutal for the people who don't have a bank account yeah control 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 right which is one of the reasons Facebook wanted to get into the digital currency business and they hijacked the name crypto right and a lot of people are hijacking hijacking the name crypto where things aren't really crypto they're just digital right but we already have digital they're just trying to get rid of cash unfortunately I'm gonna put some salt in this right? Ooh. Oh, our fries are burning. We got talking, we forgot about the fries. Uh oh. Or not the fries, the chips. We didn't put a timer on. Uh oh. Let's bring this in. Let's put that there, let's put that there, let's put that there, let's put that there. Let's put this stuff away. Grab our mittens. I don't want that. That's okay. These ones are pretty good. Take a look. Now we need to make some room. So let me show you this. Oops. Hold on. Let me do this. I'll show you these guys, the handlers. Take a look. Right. So what I'm gonna do right now is just flip them. I already flipped this one. So I'm gonna flip these guys. Let's throw this back. Bring out the next one. And flip these guys. Hey, come on. Gotta love parchment paper. little fries now what you want to do when you make the fries is where's my little salt shaker I'll be right back chips you need salt. Take a look. Right? Very delicious. thoughts going about what's going on I teach mathematics it's looking good looking good Bob 
I hope you had a good lunch. <laughs> oh, I gotta put the lid back on. You coming over, Martin? Nice. Bring some cider. <laughs> This is looking good. So, let's not put that there. Let's put that there. Oh, look at this guy. Remind me to never go watch the Daily Trump press conference. <laughs> Why would you case, man? <laughs> so, what do we need to do? We need to cook the rice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this guy over. And while I do this, I'm going to give this a little wipe. Okay. I'm going to bring this guy over. And we're going to put this guy over there. I'm going to put that guy on low. I'm going to kick up this guy because we're going to put some rice in here. So we want the water boiling. Okay. Check on the soup. Nice. Our ham hamburgers are getting ready, very close. I might put them on broil, but what I want to do is I'm going to transfer the chips into here. Look at this one. I love the little puffies. delicious. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Like just a feel good food, right? Now, I'm going to lay down the other potatoes and cook those ones on feet. And there's a handful here that aren't done perfect, so I'm going to put those guys back. While we got the oven hot, might as well make another batch. Okay, the hamburger. Okay, we're gonna put the rice in here before we deal with the hamburger. So. Whenever you put rice in a bowl, the stuff sticks to the sides, right? Now, you don't need to use a spatula like this. Just get a little water inside and just swoosh it around and grab whatever's left over and throw it back in, right? Water is amazing for carrying rice. And that's it. There's one more green left. Let's get the last green. Okay. 
this. Let's put the lid back on it. And this thing's crazy hot, so I'm gonna put it on half. And I'm gonna put the, stop the oven and I'm gonna put it on broil, the hamburgers for about four minutes or so. Three minutes. Actually, let's do timer, three minutes. So three minutes, the hamburgers on broil, just to get them crispy on the top, right? Because they're cooked. I just need to crisp up the one side that wasn't crisped up. Nice. Spotted too, you want a drink now? King, how are you doing? I'm not a gynecologist, but I take a look. Sorry, that was meant to be a now it's supposed to be a personal thing. <gasps> nice. Delicious. We're going to put the hamburgers in here. Still 42. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. We got our chicken broth going. Nice. Take a look. A little steamy. Right. Very good. That's perfect. You want it to be dense. Right? Our cabbage is cooking. We need to cook the rice, and as soon as the rice is cooked, I'm going to give it a little rinse, right? And then I'm going to throw the cabbage and the onions in there with a little bit of mint and mix it all up. And that's going to be a rice dish with onions and cabbage, which is fantastic, right? I have some tomatoes here, too. I was thinking about putting tomatoes in, but we'll skip the tomato part. Okay, you can. Basically, rice dishes, you could do anything with it. And once it cooks up, I might put it in one of the casserole trays to cook up further in the oven but i don't think so i think we're just going to skip that chicho i apologize if you already answered this at what temperature did you bake your uh, crisp uh 400 400 fahrenheit okay which is according to the parchment paper 400 fahrenheit would be uh about 200 celsius right so 425 is 218 celsius so 400 would be around 2, 205 Celsius or so. Okay, I'm cooking everything at 400. That's the timer telling me five minutes is up for the broil for the hamburgers. Looking good. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab them out of here. Okay. Let's check it out. Ooh. Take a look. one open make sure it's cooked inside right so I'm just gonna break one and you want to make sure it's cooked inside and that's cooked inside nice oh I should turn it off broil Do this with the oven door open. We're limited on space. Take a look. 
Right. Yeah, that doesn't work. Right. And these look fantastic. Right. I'm gonna have one right now. Have the one we cooked, we cut. <laughs> Put a couple of chips beside it. <laughs> Take a look. Let's see. Should be delicious. Very good, very juicy, very juicy. And remember, in the oven, it it's not as good as on the barbecue, really. And it's not as good as frying, okay? So the level of flavor for the hamburgers, barbecue is the best, without a doubt. Frying is second, in the oven is third in terms of flavor because on the barbecue you get the smoky flavor on it and the frying pan you get the oil flavor on it more kicks it up but in the oven it's the healthiest right you're not using extra oils and it's baking it's good right and as long as the hamburgers are delicious the hamburger is still very delicious okay I don't know what our air fryer is. Very good. I hope you guys are enjoying some fantastic food. I'm adding extra salt. Right. Mm. Fantastic. Very, very delicious. And we still have the potatoes going here. A few more crisps, so I'm gonna bring those out. And then we've got one more tray of crisps in there. Salute, salute. So, let's bring out these guys. Now the glass stuff is still cooking up, but it is what it is. I'm running out of space. Okay. We need to keep an eye out on the on the rice. Nice. And the rice, be careful. Once it starts going, the rice can spill over as well. So I'm gonna put the lid sideways a little bit. Let it air out a little. Okay. And we're gonna pour ourselves a little bit more liqueur because it was fantastic, phenomenal. Tasted a little too good. fryer use a circulated what is air fryer circulation of hot air to cook food that would otherwise be submerged in oil okay the air fryer cooking uh, resem uh, chamber radiates heat I gotta put on the glasses <laughs> radiates Let's check this out. Radiate heating elements near the food, thus cooking it more efficiently. A fan is generally used to circulate uh, 
to circulate hot air around the food, the opening at the top is used to take air in and there's an exhaust at the back that controls the temperature by releasing any undesired hot air. Oh wow. So basically a healthy version of deep frying and it tastes just as good. Really? That's fantastic. Yeah, two drinks. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Salute, salute. And here's the air fryers. Wiki paste. Yeah. If it's pandemic cooking, shouldn't you be cooking in uh, bulk and hoarding? Uh, J Josie, I am. Hoarding, no. Sharing, yes. So we're cooking up. We got three chicken carcasses going to make bone broth, right? Chicken bone broth. And we're going to drink half of it probably in the next couple of days. And we're going to freeze the rest of it just in case later on if we don't have the energy if we get sick or whatever we don't have enough energy to cook we have healthy food we made 15 patties for the next three days or so and i froze 17 patties so we have some food there if we need right we're cooking a rice dish right now with cabbages and onions and most likely we might freeze some of this as well so we have patties bone broth and a rice dish frozen ready to be eaten just in case we don't feel like cooking right gina how are you doing hey chicho south africa just went into a 21 day covid lockdown all of south africa wow yeah from what i understand half the world's population is in lockdown right now that's a lot of people like india is in full lockdown that's 1.3 billion people china is coming out of a lockdown right Welcome to living prison. Huh. Cheers to air fryers. Cheers to air fryers. Buy you one for Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, Spider-Man. Make sure you're taken care of, brother. <laughs> Before anything, right? Also remember rationing. Our model, uh, modern lifestyle of three meals a day. Yeah, it's ridiculous, Bixie. We don't need three meals a day. You need one meal a day and you can snack during the day. Three meals a day is completely overblown. There, This will teach people the magic of fasting with one meal a day. 100% Bixie. 100% I agree with you. Very good. And I have bread that I could be toasting and making a sandwich, but I'll do that later. Hey Chicho, what's on you cooking? What? Hey Chicho, what's you? What are you cooking at the moment? Hamburgers. Lots and lots of hamburgers. Super delicious hamburgers. We got chicken broth going. Three chicken carcasses. See, this thing is reduced a lot, right? So I'm going to kick this down to the extreme low, okay? And we've got rice going and we're going to mix it in with uh, some veggies and fried onions, okay? So cooking enough to at least eat for three days and have enough food frozen for at least another three, right? Just in case we need it. I reckon it's going to be a really hot summer. CV will not survive, not survive. Is this multiple? Uh, is this multiplier <laughs> quarantine luca <laughs> how are you doing thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the conversations thank you for the discussion right chicho finally caught you live awesome hey ten eight heat neat ten eight heat ten eight heat ten eight heat ten eight i don't even know how to fall i pronounce that sadly there is no olympics or euro football turn yeah Everything is going to be canceled and music festivals are gone. Where to download? Salute, salute. Uh, blackberry, blueberry, homemade liqueur. This is vodka blackberry blueberry homemade liqueur just do a search for chicho uh, liqueur and uh, 
you'll find it both on BitChute and YouTube. Here's our channel for BitChute and YouTube. That's our BitChute and YouTube channel. Okay. Who's your favorite musician? My favorite musician, man, I have so many from so many different genres, right? Uh, depends what genre. Uh, progressive rock metal, I guess it would be Rush. Uh, Black Sabbath, old school is fantastic. Hip hop, uh, Big L, Big Pun, Dead Prez, uh, Immortal Technique, uh, Tupac, Biggie. Uh, right now, I'm going off on uh, some Memphis rap. Triple uh, Six Mafia is fantastic. SPM is amazing, is amazing, is amazing, right? Uh, electronic, man. My my partner samples electronic up the yin yang, and she's mixing as well. So uh, there's a lot of electronic. I got a lot of favorite musicians, man. How do you get such a beard like mine? Um, uh, I don't know. For me, I'm gonna take this down. Um, luck. <laughs> eat lots of <laughs> eat lots of red meat. I guess I don't know. I have no idea. Make make little potato chips. made a batch of liqueur with pineapple and papaya grown in my backyard as you might say it's phenomenal it's phenomenal nice three six game move job how are you doing check out the rice very nice chicken broth hamburgers Rice with uh, onions and cabbage is going to be mixed in there pretty soon. Got to check the rice. Are you the guy from the Breaking Bad? Is that correct? No. And if I was, I wouldn't be live streaming it, that's for sure. Okay, perfect. We need to dump this. Get rid of this. Okay. Let me take off my glasses. No, the potatoes are not done yet. So, all I'm going to do is get rid of the water in this, right? So, ch check it out. The rice is done. So, let's dump it. Here's our rice, right? This guy. And we need this guy. Turn down the rice. And we're gonna dump. Here's our cabbage and onions. Take a look. Right. Thank you for taking care of business, Martin. And we're gonna dump this with the rice. Cabbage, onions, and mint. Right. Nice. And I'm going to mix this up. So we need. Okay, that guy's good. Yes. Nice. 
I could have actually taken some of the white rice and just saved it as white rice by itself, right? But we mix it all together, which is fine. Now what we're going to do is pour a little oil over top of it. So the bottom doesn't stick. Right? I'm going to put this on low. Put the lid back on it. And let it just cook on low for very like half an hour, right? Just in half an hour. Do I have Michelin stars? I don't know what that is. And the last bit of crisps, the fries, are cooking up in the oven. Touch down. We did what we wanted to do, right? We got our hamburgers done up. Fantastic. I'm going to eat one more. All right. Ground beef, potatoes, onions. Chef, high grade rating for restaurant. <laughs> Is that what it is? Kitchel burgers. Delicious. I'm gonna add some salt to my hamburger. Okay. We did fantastic. We got the last bit of fries cooking up, so I'm gonna let them cook up. Read a little chat. Have a little salut. Hey Chicho, recently found your YouTube channel and I've been meaning to hop in live streams. Glad I could finally make one awesome. Glad to have you, Connor. Welcome, welcome. Can you send me some? I wish I could. I wish I could. We stand here for 10 hours and cook hamburgers and send everyone one. Maybe sometime in the future we do a little teleportation. Just ran out of food in my quarantine. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry to hear it, man. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can read people's names. Nate. Gordon Ramsay has several. Golden Ramsay, the, the the high chef grade rating for restaurants, cool. Don't you have, I have no idea what mission, tires? You're talking about tires? <laughs> Great bender, is that what we're talking about? You know what, liqueurs, hamburgers, fries, potato chips, Eduardo, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So we've been at this for three, three hours and 15 minutes or so, right? Look at everything we've prepped. Enough food to eat for, for two people to eat for like six days, right? At the cost of minimal, really compared to what it would cost you to eat outside healthiest right enjoyable pleasurable it's you know what's in your food highly recommend one of the first things you should invest in is your health and cooking okay so some crazy reason it is ran by the tire company on three hours and 16 minutes the music company created a guide for high end restaurants some time ago awarding up to three michelin tires for the best ones oh, i don't i don't know it 
Ah, Nate. I don't... I have no idea. That's good, though. Should we get at least one tire rating? Michelin tires. Three Michelin tires? Do we get one? Is, is this a one rating? Is that good? <laughs> Do we get two? Do we hear three? The more you know, the more you know. Aviat, how are you doing? It was probably marketed towards traveling people in the beginning. Cool. I love scallops. Scallops are delicious. Haha. <laughs> Michelin tires. Fun. Fun. By the way, gang, I'll give you another intro to who we are, where we are, how you can get a hold of us if you're interested in what we're doing. Uh, this is our Patreon page. This is how you can support this work. Uh, best way really to support this work a lot of content is being loaded onto patreon okay and we're building uh sort of uh, something that's it's is based on mathematics and there's a lot of mathematics in the background and in the foreground the foreground of what we're doing here right now right so you can check out what we're doing on patreon there's a description a lot of people there okay if you're watching this on YouTube or BitChute or any other platform, we are live streaming this on, this on Twitch. So if you want to follow this work on Twitch, if you want to follow this work live, Twitch is where you want to be. Okay. I do announce uh, a lot of stuff, what we're loading on YouTube with BitChute, as well as when we go live and whatnot on Twitter, as well as Gabs, Minds, VK, and Elo. Okay. And all the links will be in the description of the video. And we are loading this on to BitChute and YouTube if you want to see it after the live streams, okay? And we are in amazing times, crazy times, right? Interesting times. So right now, name of the game is flattening, flattening the curve, right? Don't overload your healthcare systems if you can. And today is March 26, 2020, okay? Aside from that, thank you for being here again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have some amazing food to eat. I can't whisper you now. Martin. Twitter, take it down, take it down. And our Patreon page. Okay. Survive, survive. Survive, survive. Gang, should we call the stream? I got some potatoes still cooking up. It'll take them a while. Oh, the reason they're not cooking up, we turned the sucker off. That's what we did. 400. Kick it up again. Kick it up again. Right? We're going to live stream again, I believe, on Sunday. I think we're doing a Sunday. It could be Saturday. Uh, we're doing comic book readings. Two comic book readings back to back. We're going to do one. And then the second one, if, if the live stream, you know, we'll see how it turns out. We might look at the the 1960s comic book guide that we had uh, maybe but I'd rather do the reading I want to do the comic book readings uh, and then we're gonna do a current events live stream on March 30th okay and then April 1st April Fool's Day we're gonna continue looking at our COVID-19 data I was very no, oh, Chicho. I just arrived. Oh no, Nate. We've been going at this for three, three hours and plus, right? I got a, I got a little bit of cleaning up to do here. Another hour worth of cleaning to do here, right? We got four, four more streams lined up in the next like five, six days. So pop in then for sure, for sure. And we're gonna do a lot of, a lot of live streams. Uh, I'll schedule more after. Um, we do the COVID one. Yes, I'm so excited for Convo. Yeah, me too. Tomorrow, I'm going to let loose the Spy Hunters, uh, Spy Fighters, number nine, uh, that I shot and edited last couple of days. And uh, It's already actually on BitChute and YouTube. I just got to release it tomorrow. Three and a half hour stream. Wow, nice. The longest stream we did, I think, was six and a half hours in the kitchen. Stay safe, you all. Stay safe, you all. Well said, Snumbus okay aside from that gang salute 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 okay be kind to people take care of your healthcare workers be kind to each other okay uh, be good be healthy okay 
I hope, I hope you have a fantastic next couple of days, gang. Aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next live stream, next video. Tomorrow, comic book reading on BitChute and YouTube. Bye, gang. Ah, oh, mods, thank you for taking care of business. Serious. Bye, everyone.